Greetings, Santa Cruz City School Libraries. This is John with Opals. In this clip, I'd like to show you the ILL tools available via the SCCS Union Catalog. And if you need any help with this, I'm glad to set up a Zoom session or send a recording like this or set up your username and password and rights into the Union Catalog. It might be a, a nice tool for you to share your resources between the schools. <clears throat> so I'm using the Galt catalog, and I do have an ILL tab at the top that I could access the union. Or on the Galt catalog, I have a librarian tab where the union catalog, there's an icon that will allow me to get to the union catalog. By the way, the Librarians tab, if you don't know, is a great place to store passwords, ideas for the this coming fall, next spring, whatever. Um, it's private. Only authorized users, libraries, librarians, and library staff could see it. It's a nice tool to have on your screen, and only you can see the contents of the page. All right, so I'm going to access the SCCS Union Catalog by clicking the icon. And here I am in the Union Catalog. You'll see Santa Cruz City Schools Union Catalog of Library Resources. So there we are. I'm going to log in as a librarian from Galt. I'm clicking Log In. And I am going to, oh, using the wrong uh, username. One second. All right, so I've logged in using the Barbara's uh, username and password. And again, I can help you set that up. And I'm logged in to the union as Galt Elementary, top left corner. If you'd like to search the union, let's just put in um, the word wonder. And let's see what we have. We have many hits, 1,627 hits. And we're starting to see the results. Ancient wonders. The Wonderful O, The Wonderful Egg, all sorts of things. And you'll see that these are representing books in the various schools. So Natural Wonders, here's your secondary Santa Cruz High School. Uh, here's an elementary, and this is De La Viega Elementary. So if you're looking for a certain title, you can type the title in and request it from another school. Now, I am at Galt, so I'm going to put in a title and see who has this item that maybe a teacher at my school would like. There we are. And this is a small school, and it's the Alternative Family Education School. If I'd like to order this or request this via ILL, I can click right here and request ILL, and here I am. This is just a few forms to fill out, and then the book could be on its way to my building. The expiry date, that's a date where uh, you don't need it after this date. So if somebody's requesting something and they don't need it after, say, the end of August 30th, you could put in that date. The borrower's name and ID, this is where you could put in uh, the teacher's name that's looking for it, a student's name. Uh, just a note, I don't know about in the state of California, but in the state of New York where I am, you cannot have an electronic transmission with a student's name and their ID number in the same electronic transmission. Just thought I should mention that. So, uh, we've got We've got the expiry date, the borrower's name, now the responders. Well, right here, this book is only available at the Alternative Family Education site. So I'm just going to put a check mark here. You may see where the book is available at many other schools. Then you would choose all of them or one particular school. I'm not putting an ID in. A public notice, this is a test. Private note, I'll just put in test private. All right, so I'm asking for this title by this author from the Alternative Family Education, one copy. I have an expiry date, my borrower's name, no ID, test, test private, and submit request. So my request has been submitted, and the ILL, ILL ID is number 28. So what will happen is, I don't think, 
they'll respond, but the alternative family education site would get this request uh, sent to them that Galt is looking for the book. I think I'll stop the video at this point because I'm not sure where you will all be going with this, um, and I can create a longer video and do specific parts and show you how the entire ILL process works. But I think we've got our feet wet. We've got an ILL ID 28 out there in the world of processing for an interlibrary loan request. I'm going to log out of the catalog, and I'm just going to go back to uh, the Galt School. Here I am. All right. Now, uh, let me just see what this is saying. Okay, that's just some overdue items, a few things in the calendar needs to be set. So let's say this time I'd like to go in without using the icon at the bottom, ILL, My Requests. I'm clicking here, and there we go. I'm putting in Barbara's username and now her password. I'll have to remember to tell her I changed it. <laughs> and I'm clicking Login. And now I see right away My Request this book that I just requested earlier in this clip. And I made the request on the date by Barbara Lawrence. Here's my public note test and the school that I requested the resource from. The status, it's open. Let's just open it by clicking the ILL ID and I'm going to cancel the request just so we don't have anybody trying to send something out there. Um, I'm going to just remove the request I don't even need a note. I'll just say OK. There we go. So I've just shown you a little bit of using the interlibrary loan options with the Union Catalog. You don't have to use ILL processing. You can just search the Union Catalog. Some people sometimes will just email another library. But you might find using the ILL process to be nice uh, and just as easy, if not more so, than the email because you'll get updates, etc., from the people you're trying, the schools you're trying to borrow items from, or the schools you're lending items to, to uh, through the process. Glad to help. Email anytime. Have a great school year.